Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is my very first video. Yay! I'm so excited to be on YouTube. So for my very first look, I decided to do a gold eye. Just like this. See? It is one of the looks that's huge this year, and it looks really great on every different eye color and for every different occasion. And it's kind of an easy look to create, so I wanted to do something that was just very wearable and very usable for my girls out there. So, if you're interested in seeing how to do this look, just keep watching and we'll do our makeup together, okay? Okay, so we're gonna just jump right in with the concealer. And I am using Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I just like how it works. There's a lot of great concealers on the market, but this one works pretty well and it's cheap. So anytime you can save money, I always think that's a really good thing. And I'm just making it in these little triangular shapes underneath the eye, out towards the corner and towards the nose. We'll do a line down the nose, a little flower on the head, a little zhuzh on the chin, and then we'll blend. You're gonna die when you see this sponge that I'm using. You remember these? Do any of you even remember when these were made? I had one beauty blender, like a dummy. I should have had several. And my cat claimed it, like literally ran off with it. And I don't know where it is, not that I would want it back, but I have yet to order another one and I am in desperate need of beauty blenders. I need to order several. But I wanted you guys to see that even if you don't have all of the necessary products and uh, tools that the pros have that you can get your stuff done. You can get your face done even if you don't have what's considered to be the fabulous tools. You can make whatever you have work. So for the eyes, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And almost nine times out of ten, I like to start with the color Naked, which is a really good transition shade. I think it just looks really pretty. It kind of helps all of the other colors blend together. And the brush that I'm going to be using is the Sephora Pro Crease 10. It's just a fluffy brush, so it's got a really nice head on it so that you can really get that color gradient on your eye. I'm making sure that you guys can see me because I don't want to disappear. So the next color that we're going to be putting on is sort of this bronzy color called Dark Horse, right there. And we're just going to keep defining our crease because we're wanting to do this gold eye. And so the bronzy colors in the crease are really gonna help it pop. For this, I'm gonna use my Morphe M412 brush. It also has more of a dome head, but the bristles are a little more tightly packed so you can get a more defined crease. I pull up slightly on the edge of my eye if you have more mature skin, you are going to want to pull your skin taut. Uh, not tight, but taut. So that you can really get in there and distribute the color where it needs to go. Sometimes I'll take the sponge, it's actually more handy than you think, just to get kind of a pretty clean crease out here in the corners. Use what you got. You can use tape. You can buy those shadow shields. Just whatever you've got around. Make it work. Now 
And now for the headliner. You ready? I love this palette. This is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. And it is beautiful. The colors are just stunning, just like Gwen. And the color that we're going to use is this 1987. Because remember, this is a gold eye. So we're going to take this color. And I'm going to use the brush that comes in the Urban Decay Naked palette. And I'm gonna spray a little of this Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. I'm almost out, I need a new one. But I'm gonna spray it on the flat part of the brush so that we can really get this color kind of foiled onto the eye. We really want it to be nice and moist. So we're just packing it, and then we'll blend it in. Okay, so I would like to really make this inner corner kind of shimmery and white and really bright. So. We're going to take this tiny little brush. I got this brush from a local makeup artist in Fort Worth by the name of Luann Mancini. It's not even labeled as to what kind of brush it is because I've had it like 15 years. So um, this is what I'm going to use for the inner corner because it's nice and little. And for the inner corner, I think I'm going to use this color called Bathwater. Any really light color, light shimmery color that you have will work. So we can get in there and I'm going to take it on up into the inner third of the eye And we're going to take the same bath water color and pop it up underneath those brows to kind of make them light up. Looking pretty. So now for my liquid liner, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. So it's just the black color. I'm not going to do a wing. I'm just going to do a little flick because we are going to put on some really dramatic lashes. So I do want a line, but I don't need to have anything major. Okay. Okay. Can you see me do this? Yeah. Let's see. Let's bring this in so I don't bend down too far. Okay, so I'm going to run over here and pop some lashes on. The lashes I'm going to be using are Huda Beauty Scarlet, and they are super fun, dramatic lashes. You can do this without lashes if you're just doing kind of a casual look, or you can do more of a natural impact lash. But I'm going to go for the gold today and pop these on, and I'll be right back. And we're back with fabulous lashes, and this look is coming together. So. The next thing we're going to do is I'm not really going to line the waterline because this is just, apart from the lashes, supposed to be a simple, pretty look. So we're just going to kind of start blowing it out on the bottom. So I would like to start with my gold color that we did earlier, the 1987. 
and my little tiny liner brush. By the way, you guys need to get this daily brush cleaner from Sephora. If you have to change colors in between, like the last color I had on this was dark, you can clean it off before you pop on a different color. And that way you don't get a big old mess on your face. So I'm going to do this 1987 and just slide it in here, I guess about halfway on this part of my eye. And then I want to go back in with our bronze from the Naked palette. I'm going to mix a little of the Dark Horse and Hustle. So the Dark Horse is what we used earlier and Hustle's just deepening it up a little bit. And we're going to put that on the other half of our eye. And just sort of bring it up and connect it to the top line. And kind of blend these two together. Now I'm going to go back with my mascara. And today I'm using Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant in black, I guess. Um, I'm just putting the slightest bit at the base to blend my lashes with the fake lashes. Do not put la uh, mascara all over your lashes. It'll look like a hot mess. So we're just going to do a little bit. And just the teeniest bit on the bottom lashes and the reason why is I find that this mascara tends to flake and so all of a sudden midway through the day I'll have this flakiness underneath and this darkness underneath my eyes and it's my mascara and it's just fallen so I'm just gonna put the slightest bit just to give a little definition but that's it And now for my contouring, I'm using this contour color here again that I got from Luann Mancini, that makeup artist, I've hit pan, that makeup artist in Fort Worth. And I like to contour from the arch of the brow to the temple, right along the hairline, just right here. And I am going to contour my nose a little bit with this flat Luann Mancini brush and just go in down the sides. Nothing crazy, just a simple little nose contouring. I'm going to go in at the tip just like this. And then I like to go in with this old school, what is it? Merle Norman, that's hot. This Merle Norman brush, and it's perfect for blending nose contour. You young Barbies out there haven't even heard of Merle Norman, or if you have, it's because your grandmother uses it. And I don't know why I am in possession of it, but I have it. Then we're going to finish the rest of our face contour. Just suck in your little cheeks. And for blush, I'm going to be using this precious little blush I got at Sephora from Too Faced. 
and the color is Love Flush. It is so pretty. And it came in this little kit with a little tiny lipstick that's so precious. And so it's great for summer and it just gives you that pretty little peach glow. And to get your blush on right, kind of smile so you can pop that apple out just like this. Look how happy we are putting on our blush. See, blush just makes you feel better. Makes you look alive. We're almost done. So now we just need to highlight. I own like one highlighter. See, I don't have all this crazy, unbelievable makeup. I have a highlighter and it's the Hourglass Ambient Palette. If you don't have it, get it because it's got a little of everything. I'm going to use this middle color because that's the lightest one. And I'm using this little bitty brush that I got as a freebie at some point from Bare Minerals. And it's just the perfect size to kind of get in underneath here and on the tip of our nose where we want it. So let's go in kind of like a C. You want to put your highlighter right up here so that when you turn your little face, you just have this little pop. And down the center, in the cupid's bow. And now for my favorite part, the lips. Okay, how do we want to do the lips? I'm going to line my lips with just any natural lip pencil will do. To be honest, the brand of this one rubbed off, but any natural nude color that you feel like is a couple of shades darker than your lip tone, just to give you some definition. And we're just going to line slightly outside the lip line. And for my lipstick, I'm using this color from Lancome called Metallique. You like how I did that with the French accent? Oh yeah, I took some French in high school. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Metallique is kind of a peach toned bronzy nude. It has shimmer. Then we're gonna go back with our handy dandy nude lip pencil and just line. Now, I'm taking this fun lip gloss from a brand called GM Collin. That is mostly a skincare line, but they made this lip plumping complex. It doesn't really plump, but it looks really pretty on the lips. And it's just kind of this peachy color right here. I'm almost out, y'all. And that completes our look. You can take your hair down and head out. You are date ready. You're ready to go wherever your adventures may take you. Thank you so much for watching and I've enjoyed being with you today. Thank you for watching my first video. I'm so excited to be on YouTube and I've made all these new friends. I love you guys. Subscribe to my channel. I'll be sitting um, probably a video a week and uh, it'll be all different kinds of looks. And leave me comments because I wanna make videos that you wanna see with different looks that you wanna see. So come see me next week, bring your girlfriends, bring your tools, and we'll put on our face together. Thanks, bye-bye.